Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about beginning level of genetics and here is a problem. A researcher has been studying genetic variation in fish populations by using PCR to amplify microsatellite repeats at particular site on chromosome. The diagram below shows the gel fractionate products of amplifications with DNA samples from 10 different fish, how many distinct alleles of this microsatellite locus are evident in the gel. Let me first explain what microsatellites are. Imagine that this is chromosome number one. It can be also um, two homologous chromosomes number two or three. But what you need to know is that one animal inherit from the father side, another one inherited from the mother side. So two homologous chromosomes, almost identical, but not quite so. Each chromosome can uh, have its own variations. For example, at certain locus, let's say somewhere here, chromosome inherited from the father side at this locus may have repetitive sequence. For example, A, A, T, C, A, a, T, C, A, A, T, C, and A, A, T, C. So we have one, two, three, and four repeats. And at the same locus, but on the chromosome inherited from the mother side, we also may have the same repetitive uh, sequence, but uh, due to slight variation on the chromosome inherited from the mother side, this sequence would repeat only two times. So one and two. So as you see, these molecules of the variable size we call microsatellites and also because they are of the different size we call them alleles. So this uh, molecule is distinct from this molecule. So would be two distinctive alleles. These microsatellites uh, flanked by the same stable uh, sequence and we can prepare primers. For example, here goes one primer and here goes another one. And because sequence is the same, primers that we use are the same. We are going to get a PCR product to molecules of the different size in this example. But also this may happen that in this locus we may have molecules of the same size. If we would have molecule of the same size, we would see only one band. You see, we have one fish, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But some fish has only one band, some has two bands. That means that here actually uh, we amplified uh, at the same locus uh, two microsatellites of the same size. That's why we see only one band. Actually, we have here uh, microsatellites from both chromosomes, but the size is the same. And here we have two. Um, two bands, that means that um, two molecules, two microsatellites at the same locus inherited from different parents would uh, have different size. When we apply a current to gel, uh, all these um, molecules, one would be load on one side, let's say here we have negative charge and positive charge here. DNA molecules are slightly negatively charged and would move to the positive charge and would separate according to their size. Those molecules that is smaller would travel greater distance. Those which are bigger would uh, travel shorter distance through the uh, gel matrix. Now we can count how many different variants of the alleles we have. So all these alleles, as you see, travel the same 
distance, so would be of the same size. And we can say that these alleles are of the same type. So one, two, three, and four. And this is going to be our answer. In this gel, we see four variants of the alleles. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.